Hey guys, what's up? So today we've got a special video. Uh, this is a model review of a model that's pretty hard to find. Uh, if you were in my live stream this past Friday, you got a look at it. Um, so without any further ado, we'll go ahead and uh, take it out of the box. Uh, so this is a model of a Ford B800 Crown by Carpenter. It was made by a model company out of the Ukraine. Um, I believe it's pronounced Chimera. It's uh, spelled K-I-M-M-E-R-I-A, so I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced. But if I'm pronouncing it wrong, my apologies. Uh, so they made two of these models. They made the Ford uh, B800, and they also made an FS65. So I have the Ford B800 here. Uh, and I mean, this is a very large scale model, um, and I, I want to say it's 1 to 43rd. So, um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and take a look at this model. I mean, there's a lot to see, so um, I'm just going to look at the front, back, and the sides kind of in their own, uh, well, in that order, I guess. Um, the model is not in any way perfect. I mean, it's missing its stop sign, and it is missing a few visors as well. Um, I actually, the seller did include two visors, uh, but I guess he was missing one of the visors out of the three that are missing. So I do have two of the three missing visors. Um, I'm not sure if they could be re-glued just because of how they broke off in the first place. Uh, but anyways, let's go ahead and start looking at some of the details on this model. Alright, so the first part of the bus we're going to look at is the hood. Um, you can see you've got the uh, Ford emblem on the grill and the headlight and turn signals on both sides as well as the fender mounted turn signals um, and of course you've got your cross view mirrors uh, which are really cool and you don't normally get cross view mirrors on models um, if you go forward on the hood you should be able to see like the actual like over right about where my finger is there's like a I don't think it actually has anything on it, but it's meant to be like the Ford B800 emblem. Um, so that's pretty cool. If you move on to the body, uh, you've got your body mounted mirrors, um, all your clearance lights, visors, warning lights. You even got a microphone. Um, and you've got the body mounted turn signals. Um, so that's, I mean, that's just really cool the amount of detail that's in this bus. You can kind of see inside of it. You can see that the seats are blue, um, and you do have the driver's area. You got your driver's seat, steering wheel, and you do have um, a little bit of detail. It's kind of hard to see, but there is a um, switch panel in there and, and a dash. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention are the windshield wipers. These are really, really like small and delicate. Uh, when I actually got the bus, the one on the passenger side was like up almost like it was wiping the window um, and I was actually able to move it down and um, I know it's not designed to do that but from how it's mounted I think that's why it why it's able to move um, so that's you know that's the front of the bus if we move along to the uh, driver's side you can see we've got the spot for a stop sign and I mean there's even detail there you've got the little vent that would pop out from the side of the body um, and like I said, the, the, uh, base for the stop sign, um, clearance lights, got your battery door, and they got the carpenter rub rails down very well, and just this, the entire spacing of the body is just very, very well done. Uh, you've got your rear axle, um, which also looks really good, and then, uh, moving down the bus, you do have your middle and rear clearance light, um, and then going to the back, we've got our warning lights again. Now the back is where it's missing some visors. It's only got one visor on the back, uh, but you got your clearance lights. Um, the rear door actually has a silver or chrome, I guess, um, handle, and it's got an arrow um, to show you which way the handle goes. So that's really cool. And then you've got your tail lights, your small brake lights. And then uh, the bumper looks really good. That's definitely a Crown by Carpenter bumper. Just, well, even a Carpenter bumper. But just the, the amount of detail that went into this bus is really incredible. Um, you can kind of see in there 
Uh, you can see the seats and um, up to the front. Uh, just a lot of good detail on this model. Uh, going to the passenger side, uh, we've got our clearance lights again, uh, rear axle, rub rails. Um, the windows also look really good. It's it, it would have been interesting to see if they actually had little frames to where like you have the top and bottom part of the window, but even as they are, they, they still look really good. Uh, there's your fuel door and uh, the body. I mean, the body just looks great. You know, if it, it's not an actual licensed Crown by Carpenter body, but if you're an enthusiast, you can tell. Um, something I forgot to point out on the back real quick. The fact that the line up here for the where the school bus sign would go, that is a Crown by Carpenter detail for sure. 59 had it. Um, it's really, I like to say it's just a cutout for a, for a changeable sign or a lighted sign. Uh, but since, you know, the bus didn't have the spec, it's it's not cut out. Uh, but that's just another one of those small details that they included that's really cool. And since it's a Crown by Carpenter, obviously that is a Wayne door. And the windshield and the bottom part of the bus um, it would be a Wayne um, body part. Uh, but anyways, just the, the detail on the door is really good. You even have the door guide at the bottom. Um, and I mean, there's just so much detail in this model. It's, it's, it's crazy. Um, let's see, get you, try to look inside a little bit. Um, there's your look at the front. You can see the seats, all the passenger seats. And we'll go back up this way. And then just the passenger seats again. And then there's your driver's area, steering wheel. And you can kind of see in there the little details of the dash. Um, we'll go ahead and look at the bottom. So the bottom actually has a good a little bit of detail as well. Uh, you've got your frame rails. There's your exhaust. And the exhaust actually goes all the way from up at the front. You know, following the frame rails all the way back until the tailpipe. Uh, you've got your rear axle, drivetrain, um, what's supposed to be a fuel tank, bottom of the door, air tanks, um, your engine and transmission. There's just a lot of good detail on this model and I'm really happy I was able to get my hands on one. Um, these are just incredibly rare and I mean honestly to find this in the shape that it was in, definitely worth it. So that's pretty much it for this model. Um, I mean, I, I feel like I tried to show, oh, hold on, rooftop. You got your little vent and then your two roof hatches. Um, but other than that, I mean, that's that's seriously it. Like, there's not there's there's not much else on here that I haven't already shown. Um, all in all, it is a beautiful model. Um, and I'm, I'm glad I get to share it with you guys. And that there's finally a video of one of these um, with good detail and... Uh, I also took a bunch of pictures, and those are on my Flickr if you'd like to check them out. Uh, so with that being said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know what you think of this really, really cool model. And um, yeah, 